There's one thing that is moving backwards, and it's the natural world. That's Jeff Bezos on the Lex Friedman podcast facing a harsh reality that Earth may be on its deathbed. How's that for a happy holidays, huh? But yes, Jeff says that although humanity itself is thriving... Almost any metric you choose, we're better off than we used to be. Poor Mother Earth's about to buy the farm. And not in a good regenerative agriculture sort of way. He's saying that the Earth is a finite resource, and at a point, it gives up. We use a ton of energy, and the Earth can't supply it. His server farms are one of the great uses of electricity and energy Well, in the he also planet. has a, a, a big-ass yacht and jets. He contributes to the problem, but he's also one of the few people who can, is trying to contribute to the solution. And according to Jeff, there's only one place to do that. We have to go out into the solar system. That's not true. That's not true. Instead of trying to get the technology to get there, why don't we get technology to stay here? Do you believe in climate change? Yes. Do you believe that we have, we may have 35, 40 years until we're a point of, of no return? Unless we stop sometime soon and try to do things that are healthy for there the environment. There are a lot of people who say we're there already. Well, no matter how you feel, this interview proves one thing. Jeff Bezos is more than just a hot body. All we've talked about with Jeff Bezos the last two years, he's Jack, he's dating Lauren Sanchez, and it's like, when I listen to this, he's a really thoughtful, smart guy. Well, the fact he created one of the biggest companies the world has ever seen was kind of a giveaway, but yeah, we hear you. So thanks, Jeff. You've given us hope and utter dread at the same time. We have to go to space. 